is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, the subject today is white men. White men, and I'm talking about white American men, because those are the ones we know and live around. The conundrum, the confusion that can sometimes occur around white men. Because as black Americans, we say we're not a monolith. We don't all think the same. We're not all the same. We are different. But when it comes to white men, we don't see them that way. When we say white men or the white men, we're talking about all of them. We don't make a distinction. We're talking about white men. Now, I'm talking about the majority. If you don't see it that way, I'm not talking about you. But that's pretty much how we do it. We'll say the white man or white men, and we're talking about all of them, and treating them all like they think alike, and they feel the same way about everything. And I believe the reason we do that is because so many things have happened to us in this country by white men, and nobody stood in the gap for us and said, don't do this, don't lynch this person, don't burn down this town, don't drown this town, don't run these people out of their homes. So we see there was pretty much the same, because we haven't seen a noticeable difference but apparently there is a difference. I came across this picture on my X platform page, formerly known as Twitter. And I looked at the couple, I, re I forget what the caption said. And at first I didn't get it, but it was saying something to the effect that stop complaining about these men if you're married to one. And I kept looking and I thought, oh, okay, I get it. All of these people are married to white men. And AOC was up here in the top middle, and Don Lemon in the bottom middle, and Omar and Ilhan Omar over here on the bottom right are always complaining about something to do with white men. And there they are, married to white men. Ilhan Omar divorced her Somali husband and married this white man. So it, it does seem like a contradictory, if not hypocritical, that you see so much wrong with white men, but yet and still you're let up under one every night, I'm assuming. I had to take this and <laughs> see what you think about this. What do you think about this? Now here on the bottom left, is the Supreme Court Justice Katanji Jackson. She's married to a white man. We've never heard, we really hadn't heard anything from her, at least I hadn't, until she came up as a candidate for the Supreme Court. And she has been, she's been married to this man for 20 something years. So he's the only husband she's ever had. But she considers herself an activist because when she was being questioned, about the Supreme Court, one of the things that she had on her resume was that she had led to some kind of protest when she was at Harvard. I don't even remember what it was now because, uh, because it was almost laughable, but she was trying to make it seem like she was willing to take a stand for justice. And that means standing up to the white man, <laughs> right? So all of these people complain about racism and the main Proponents of racism are white men. White women are following very closely behind, but the white men are the leaders. But here they are, married to white men or cohabitating with white men or a white woman. There's one up there that's with a white woman. I thought there was a man for a minute. But Don Lemon just married this man two or three days ago. And he has a whole lot to say about racism always trying to tell somebody off and then run home to the white man. So it is kind of a, it is kind of confusing, isn't it? 
The very person that you see as a problem is the person that you see as your ideal mate. There are many black people who probably couldn't do it. I think this is something to study, that you can be married to one white man but complain about the rest of it. So it's a very interesting affair to say the least. Most of us can go on a job and work with white men as our supervisors, our bosses, but the past that we've had in this country with white men would prevent many of black women in particular from forming romantic and personal relationships with them. But that's not the case for everybody, certainly not the case for these women who are able to look beyond the past and see what they have to offer here in the present. I know that there are decent white men in America, so I'm not so narrow-minded and short-sighted that I don't know that they're decent white men. But it is something when you're complaining about a system that a certain group of people put in place and you're cohabitating and in some cases procreating with that individual. So the fact that you can isolate that person and say he's not like that but the rest of them are, that's interesting. But anyway, I say <laughs> if you're going to marry them, if you're going to marry a white man, you're going to live with a white man, my own opinion is stop complaining about them. And AOC and Ilhan Omar have had so much to say. And they're married to the very types of men that they complain about. They've had a whole lot to say about what's going on over there in the Middle East. And I guarantee you, if you check the backgrounds of those men, they'll be from that ethnic group. So I still believe that if you're going to marry these men, stop complaining about them. Stop trying to change the country. You don't want to change the country. You don't want to destroy white supremacy. You're just trying to find a comfortable place in it for yourself. Be honest with yourself and everybody else because at the end of the day, it really is your business. But you do come across as a hypocrite when you're complaining about the very people that you're sleeping with. Now, you know, that's just what I think about it. But what say you? Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.